Hello guys, Atomic Dudman here to talk to you about the negativity surrounding the long coming Crackdown 3. A lot of people have to say that the graphics look horrible, it, that it took too long to develop, that the gameplay plays exactly as its past titles did, and that Sony has better first party exclusives. But I am telling you that we've got it all wrong. The graphics have always had its own identity. That has a colorful cartoon style similar to that of Borderlands. The graphics from previous titles have been vastly approved upon from all of the new neon lighting that has been added to the city. Indeed, Crackdown 3's development took way too long to complete, but that is due to Microsoft scrapping the project and making the studio start completely over again. This happened not once, but twice, which kept pushing Crackdown's development so far out. Yes, it may not be like other titles that we've played in the past that were consistently added to and developed for multiple years. No, because the studio behind Crackdown 3's development did not get to work on the game for four consecutive years. Being able to add new features that could change the game a little bit here or there, diverse from its old predecessors that we've already played. So we cannot look at the game that it's been in continuous development for four years, when that's not the case at all. We have to look at it from a different perspective, a different lens. That they had shorter time to do it, and that this is what we get in that short amount of time, because they had to redo it so many times. Nextly, other YouTubers and gamers alike have been doing a direct side-by-side -side comparison of Crackdown 3 to its predecessors, Crackdown and Crackdown 2. Thus said individuals then stated, do these look any different to you while comparing Crackdown 3 to Crackdown 1? Of course they do look similar in the style. The developers use the same assets that they used in previous games. Every studio or developer or gaming company does this. Fallout has done this. All sorts of gaming companies have done this. Bethesda, who creates Fallout. But the thing is, the Crackdown experience is being shaped and molded back into its roots. The gameplay Crackdown 3 has been always been so ridiculous, insane, chaotic, and sometimes even a ceaseless array of pure Armageddon when you include a co-op friend within the mix. Thus making it an explosive and over-the-top Crackdown experience. Furthermore, gamers are really upset due to the fact that they are comparing Microsoft's first-party title, Crackdown 3, to other first-party titles of Sony, such as Days Gone. You simply just cannot compare the two. They're completely diverse games. Days Gone is a realistic, survival-based, story-driven zombie game, guys. Crackdown 3 is an arcade, superhuman shooter game where you can jump over buildings, pick up cars, and wipe out crime from the city. To compare any of Sony's first party exclusives is entirely absurd to even imagine trying to do. Because the games are just set to be realistic when this game is set to be arcadey. If you're one of those individuals that feels Sony's first party exclusives are really that important, then let me please suggest that next gen you might try even a PS5. It's just a thought, no pressure. But as a gamer that has played Crackdown and Crackdown 2, and now even Crackdown 3 that is coming, I know for a very fact that if you are a returning player to the Crackdown franchise, just as I am, then you are going to be in for a hell of a treat. But don't worry, if you are a new player that has never played a Crackdown title before, and you want to come and cause some catastrophic amounts of damage and blood sin shed, then... Crackdown 3 is a game made for you. But if you fall into the group of skepticism that many have, you can always try the Xbox Game Pass that has a low cost going on right now that includes Crackdown 3 on launch, or even borrow it from a friend if you're playing on a console instead of Windows 10. That's all. But if none of that's an option, then you could wait and look at upcoming reviews on YouTube. But overall, Crackdown's graphics have always had a cartoonish style. Yes, the development of the game has taken a very, very long time. 
but it is due to Microsoft making them start over. When it comes to Crackdowns playing similar to its predecessors, of course. That is how games have always pretty much been. The arcadiness, the fun of it, you know, that is the roots of Crackdown, is the way it plays like that. But when you attempt to be foolish and compare Microsoft's first party exclusive, Crackdown 3, to any of Sony's, you'll see the game in a negative lens, in a negative view. All I'm asking of everyone here that is listening is to just give the game a full, proper chance by actually playing it or and doing more research on it when it does a launch and release when people are able to play it publicly. Because the game deserves a fair chance. Already, it's already been through the ringer before it's even had a chance to live. And that's very, very sad for the game. I want to see this game succeed just as I want any game to succeed. But I ask all of you to go in with an unbiased view if you do decide to play the game. And try and keep an open mind when you do play it if you are a new player. Because it's going to be something very different than what anyone is used to really playing. But as for me, you can catch me in Crackdown 3's New Providence on February 15th of 2019. Make sure to comment down below and let me know how you feel about Crackdown 3. Will I be seeing you in New Providence on February 15th? Let me know. But also, please make sure to click that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for future content. Also, if you want to know when I upload any new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. I hope all you enjoyed the video and have a good one.